Welcome to 10 Minute Teach with Mr. A. In this video, we're going to be learning how to multiply a four digit number by a two digit number. Right, let's get into it. Right then, so let's get going with our first example. So I've got 3,572 multiplied by 12. And before we start, it's going to be really important to get our place value headings in there. And if you've not got any squared paper like I've got, then definitely put those in because it'll help you to keep everything in line. So I'm going to put those in. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands in there. And I'm going to put my hundred thousands in as well. Right, so let's get writing our numbers in. So 3,572 multiplied by 12. Now we're going to set this one out a little differently to a single digit multiplication, whereby we still have our first part of our equal sign there, but we're going to skip this line and we're going to put the second one on another line below. And then a third one, which we'll be using later on, and I'll show you why, an add symbol there and a zero in this column, because this is going to help us when we calculate a little later. Right, okay, so we're going to first try and multiply 3,572 by two, and we're going to put that on this line. So we're going to partition 12 into 10 and two. So two multiplied by two is four. Two sevens are 14, unit down, carry the 10. Two fives are 10, add the one is 11. And two threes to six, add the one is seven. So we've got 3,572 times two, which is 7,144. Now we've done that part, so we can strike that one through and we can forget about that one for now. Now here, my answer uh, is going to be multiplied by 10. So I can actually multiply this one by one. So it was a 10, but I've actually done that in front of my answer, so I don't have to think about doing that later. So two times one is two, one times seven is seven, one times five is five, and one times three is three. But you can really clearly see that 3,572, 10 times greater is 35,720. And now, because I partitioned my 10 and my two, I need to put those back together to make 12. So I'm going to add these two answers up and that will put everything back together perfectly and that will give you your final answer. So four add nothing is four, four add two is six, one add seven is eight, seven add the five is 12. So unit down there and carry the 10 over and then nothing add the three, it, add the one is four. So we have 42,864. Okay, so our second example is going to involve doing exactly the same thing. So we want to set it up just the same way that we started with, with our hundreds, tens, ones, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands as well in there. Now I'm going to write my number in. So 6,306 multiplied by 82. So some slightly larger numbers this time, but we still go ahead and do just the same thing that we've done before, setting it all up and that multiplying by 10 just in there. So let's start by multiplying 6,306 by two. So two sixes, the 12. Unit down, carry the 10. No twos are nothing. Add the one that we carried over is just the one. And then we've got two times three, which is six, and that can go straight in there. And two times six, which is 12. Nothing else to multiply by here. So multiplying uh, 6,306 by two is 12,612. So that is my unit side done. And like I do before, I straight strike through that so that I don't have to go back to it. Now then, so I'm going to multiply now by eight because I've already multiplied my answer by 10 down here, because in reality, we're multiplying by 80, but we made it really easy for ourselves. So six times eight is 48. So unit down, carry the tens number. No eights are nothing, add the four is four, nice and simple. 
3 eighths are 24 and we put our unit down and carry that 10 over and then we've got 6 eighths again which are 48 add the 2 is 50 because I've got nothing else to multiply by I can just write my number straight in there now then we've got to because we've partitioned bring those numbers back together so we add those up so 2 add nothing is 2 1 add 8 is 9 6 add 4 makes 10 and we'll carry that over 2 add 4 is 6 add the 1 is 7 1 add nothing is 1 and nothing add the 5 is 5 for a larger answer this time of 517,092. If you feel like this video has helped you out today, then why not take a little look around the other videos that I have. I have all sorts of ones for addition, subtraction and fractions as well. Please feel free to subscribe, like and comment and let me know if there's any particular videos you'd like me to do in the future. Until next time, goodbye.